So with Discord, we open up a fun fact channel. A place where you could just submit your fun facts for me to read. And they stretch all over the place. So here we go. Cow ants are really female wasps. And congratulations, Golden Atlas. You were the first fact ever for the Discord. <laughs> Fire Emblem genealogy of the Holy War is really screwed up. It is! It's super dark! The Canadian National Anthem has a French version you might not know of if you don't live in the French part of Canada. Edit, it's more Christian and more conservative version than most Canadians would question. But the French Canadians wouldn't care as much. Can anybody in French Canada confirm that? Figs have baby wasps in them! Enjoy the fig. If the Andromeda Galaxy was brighter, it would be six times larger than a full moon. Damn. This is a boy. This is a girl. Know the difference. Thank you, Icarus72, for making anime even more confusing! Alright, so this fun fact might make some people a little sick, so if you are a little unnerved by facts like this, I would say jump ahead by about 20 seconds after I stop talking. When a person gets surgery in the abdomen area, the surgeon removes their intestines and puts them on a rack. It doesn't matter how they put the intestines back, because they somehow wriggle back to their original position. So they can just put a glump in a random spot in the lower torso area, and they just wriggle back on their own. Fun! The smell of fresh cut grass is actually the grass's biological signal of distress. Enjoy the smell, you sadistic ba- Niggly Wiggly is actually the term for the little paper flag thingy sticking out of the top of the Hershey's Kisses. And that's actually true. It also sounds very much like a slur. Moving oof one key to the right results in typing PBG, which stands for Powerpuff Girls. I also think that's what all the villains said when you punched them, so... Did we just open a film theory? Oh my god! Latin, a dead language that's apparently still used today. In schools, churches under Christianity, heck, even by speaking this language right now, English, you're carrying the Latin roots. I think if you also speak French, Spanish, and Portuguese, the language still carries on. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go smell some fresh cut grass. <laughs> well, time for another rousing round of fun facts with Discord. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are humans, yet they're the same size as a squirrel. I mean, it's a cartoon, so take that with a grain of salt. Fun fact! Watermelons used to look like this! Damn! That's terrifying. They look like hives. During World War II, a British army officer named Jack Churchill, nicknamed Mad Jack, fought with only a longbow, Scottish broadsword, and bagpipes. He captured 40 Germans at sword point, survived multiple explosions, escaped from prison camps, and scored the last recorded longbow kill in the history of 1940. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that is incredible! Walking while only being allowed to breathe in small intervals makes you just as tired as a run. I kind of want to try that, but I don't like running out of air. If you scratch the back of your ear, you can hear Pac-Man. <gasps> I can. The definition of Taco Bell on Urban Dictionary is cheap alternative to laxatives. Hold on a second. <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte was not actually short, but the idea came from lies spread about England to help people not be afraid of him. He was 5'7". He also recruited really tall soldiers, so that really didn't help him much. That's just me. Bulls don't actually get angry at the color red, but rather get angry at the movement. Bulls are red-green colorblind. Oh! That actually makes sense. Ever wonder why 17 is bad luck in Italy? Well, the Roman numeral for 17 is XVII. If you rearrange the letters, you'll get the word VIXI, Vixi, which is Latin for I lived. Which, if you think about it, sounds like you're saying you're dead or that your life is over. I'm gonna need some fact checking on that one. And oh my god, you wrote 17 as your handle name! Okay, he's fine. The word love in tennis originates from the French word le oeuf, meaning the egg which are in the shape of a zero. Therefore, love and tennis means zero. I had no idea about that one. Is that one true? French followers, can you verify this? <laughs> I can't even read this one. <laughs> 
can't spell subtext without butt sex. <laughs> what is wrong with people? Last one, last one, okay. The company Daisy Outdoor Products sold windmills and gave a complimentary BB gun with every purchase. The BB guns became so popular that they stopped selling windmills and started selling BB guns. That's the most American thing I've ever heard. Well, that was an interesting round of fun facts. Um, if you excuse me, I, I, I need to go uh, visit. Taco Bell. Okay, bye! Well, hello everyone! Fun Facts with Discord is back, so buckle up, here we go. The tallest man living is Sultan Kusin, Turkey, birth date 10 December 1982, who measured 251 centimeters, 8 feet 3 inches, in Arkara, Turkey, on 8 February 2011. The part-time farmer was the first man over 8 feet, 2.43 meters, to be measured by Guinness World Records in over 20 years. God, I hope they make custom doors for that fella. In Switzerland, it is illegal to own just one guinea pig. Good, they need friends. They're very small and very cute. Large companies like Chrome tend to hire lazy people rather than any other type of person, since lazy people tend to want to find a faster way to do something. Making updates on their websites faster and easier for the public to use. Good job, Couch Potatoes. You have found an excellent career choice. When J.K. Rowling was auctioning off the adaption rights for Harry Potter in 1998, Nintendo was trying to gain the exclusive productivity rights so they could create video games to coincide with each book. They were planning on creating a third-person action game as well as a Quidditch game for N64, Game Boy, and later on the GameCube. Had this deal gone through, then this means that the films would not have even been made at all, and that Harry Potter could have been a Nintendo icon, possibly appearing in Smash at some point, I doubt it. Rowling instead declined their offer as she was more interested in Disney and Warner Brothers, as they could produce films, video games, and other forms of adaptations, while Nintendo couldn't. Much of the concept art hasn't been shown off, but there are a few that were shown off in Unseen 64's entry on the subject. Also said information comes from Unseen 64. Check them out, they have some cool facts. There is a place planet that scientists have theorized that the surface of a planet they found is pure diamond. It could pay off all of the Earth's debts. You know, debts that we put into measurements and everything. But you know why that's just me. If you're seeing this on YouTube, then Seymour just picked my unoriginal joke. Yes, I did. Good job, put, put, Potaco, period. Megadeth won't quit until Metallica quits, but Metallica won't quit until Megadeth quits. Thus, we have to wait for one of the irreplaceable members to die. And even then, they probably still wouldn't quit. The oldest your mom joke was discovered on a 3,500-year-old Babylonian tablet. Your mother is so fat she caused the Pompeii crisis by falling down. During the Soviet invasion of Finland, certain circumstances led to a single Finnish soldier going on a messed-up rampage driving the Soviets back far enough to buy him time to escape the finish lines. In 1957, a company known as ABPT Productions wanted to make their own version of Godzilla Raids Again, 1955 called the Volcano Monsters. It was unfortunately shut down because the company went out of business before filming began. So, Warner Brothers took over the final product, creating what is now known as Gigantus the Fire Monster, 1959. Way to vulture that one, Warner Brothers. 2003 hit In the Shadows by the Rasmus, Rasmus or Rasmus, whatever, has three music clips shot for it, referred to as the Bandit, Crow, and Mirror versions. And Mirror is the most boring one. Mother 2, which became known as Earthbound in North America, was being worked on by a completely different team than the original Mother game. Two years into development, however, it was still nowhere near being finished. Eventually, Satoru Iwata stepped in and said, If we used what you have now and fix it, it will take two years. If we can start fresh, it'll take half a year. True to his word, the team behind Earthbound managed to fix the problems that they were running into in just a month and finish the game in just six years. Months. And it's a good game. Go play Earthbound if you haven't yet. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. It's good. It's good. It's really good. And finally, the word won't isn't a contraction of will not. It's actually a contraction of the word that lasted until the late 1800s, wall. Back when people were figuring out how to spell the word will itself. Walnut eventually broke down into one odd, which further contracted into one odd. And finally, 
won't. And there's your fun facts with Discord. Glad to be back. See you guys next time. Bye! Eat your damn heart out, Snapple Facts! All right, ladies, gents, and nuns, put on your thinking caps, because we're going to learn some fun facts with Discord. While later Egyptian society showed Set to be the bad guy, the original villain of the mythos was a creature called Apep, which Ra battled every night to be able to have sunrise. Also didn't function on belief like other gods, he fed off the Egyptians' fear of darkness. So basically he's a Kingdom Hearts villain. Bees let out tiny little whooping noises when they're startled, or when they bump into each other. Oh, it's adorable. The 1983 hit song Total Eclipse of the Heart by Bonnie Tyler was originally written for a rock opera based on the silent film Nosferatu. I would have loved to have seen that rock opera. When an execution was required in any play from ancient Greece, the Greeks would bring an actual criminal and burn said criminal alive. Sometimes there would be a bear to speed things up. Because if the fire doesn't kill you, the bear will. Can you imagine? Dionysus basically went on a rager war and invaded India with a crew of drunken crazies and basically destroyed every city between Greece and India. And he saved a bunch of leopards, making them his sacred animal in exchange for the suffering they had to endure at the hands of humans. Dionysus really, really likes animals over people. And that's a fact. Want to know why St. Anthony of Padua is the patron saint of lost things? Well, he lost book of psalms that he was going to use to teach his students, and it was stolen. He prayed for it to be returned, and the thief was supposedly so moved that he returned the book. That's the most wholesome thing I've read all day. There is an electrical phenomenon known as St. Elmo's Fire. It appears most commonly on the tops of boat masts and on large metallic objects. It's named after St. Erasmus, Erasmus, Aramis, uh, I don't know, or St. Elmo, the patron saint of sailors, and it was seen as a good omen. I hope so. Usually lightning phenomenons freak me the f fudge out. The term bug was first used by Thomas Edison back in the 1870s. However, the term was popularized in the 1940s when engineers found an actual moth stuck in the hardware of an early computer, causing a short circuit. Both the logbook in which the error was reported and the moth are now part of the Smithsonian Museum of American History. They have preserved a moth that has been electrocuted by a computer from the 40s. That's insane. When the planet Uranus, no, Uranus, was first discovered, proposed names include Herschel, Urania, and George. I declare this planet George. George, we're not doing that, but I wanna. Parts of a fingerprint can be so similar that it's possible for two fingerprints to be identified as the same fingerprint. The Mayfield case demonstrated this when an Oregonian man was arrested for planning a terrorist attack in Spain and his fingerprints just so happened to match the fingerprints of another man who happened to be in Spain at the time. God, can you imagine that kind of mess up? Like, uh, uh, he's got the same fingerprints as you, I'm so sorry. Ancient Persia had freezers that could keep ice cold even in the hot desert summers. On a side fun fact, Breath of the Wild does a reference to this. The Gerudos have a similar style freezer where they keep their ice so they can live in the desert. I just thought I would share that. Okay. Desert whiptail lizards reproduce by parthiogenesis, cloning yourself, and are all female species, but they still have to mate with each other in order to have the chemical reaction. To quote Jeff Goldblum, the life finds a way. The reason tomatoes were seen to be poisonous was because everyone ate on lead plates and the tomato will pull the lead out of the plates and poison the eater. God, that had to be a crappy way to die. And finally, the first woman to become a doctor in Athens had to pretend to be a man to get even accepted as women weren't allowed to practice medicine. Later, she became one of the most popular doctors, especially with women, unsurprisingly. And the petty doctors, unhappy with that, accused her of seducing the women. In front of the whole court, she showed off her boobs, saying, I'm not seducing your wives, gentlemen. They came to me because I actually treat them. This case led to women being allowed to study medicine in Athens afterwards. Now that is a real fun fact. I like that one.
Well, thank you guys for listening, and I will see you all the next time around. Bye. All right, you ladies, gents, and nuns, ready to learn? If not, I totally understand. School can be very hard. But today we're going to learn fun things, because it's fun facts. Yeah. You get it? Okay. The gang from Scooby-Doo were originally a touring band. However, the first gig was canceled because of a ghost. The gang uncovered that the ghost was actually a real estate developer trying to get the theater shut down in order to get their gig back on track. But in the process of the case, lost their instruments and decided to instead devote themselves to solving mysteries. If that is not the most spiteful thing I've ever heard, I don't know what is. Ruby Fandom's official shipping spreadsheet contains 83 named characters, most of which are all shipped with each other and with themselves. Don't ask. And even though there are some blank spaces in the spreadsheet, there's still over 6,000 ships in Ruby Fandom, some having multiple names. Lucifer, why are you keeping track of that? Is there a new level of hell you're working on? High altitude military parachuting, or military freefall MFF, is a method of delivering military personnel, military equipment, and other military supplies from a transport aircraft at a high altitude via freefall parachute insertion. Basically, you're flying off a plane to give your friend a sandwich. Two techniques are used HALO, high altitude low opening, and HAHO, high altitude high opening. I don't know why I snarky muttered those, but you. Take what you get. Blue light can induce insomniac behavior by basically telling your brain that it's daytime and you can't sleep now, which is why most new smartphones actually come with a blue light filter, because God, I cannot tell you how many times that has happened. The phrase goody two-shoes comes from an old belief that the richer someone is, the more righteous they are. Therefore, a poor wicked man would wear one or two shoes, while a rich good man would wear two. Not gonna lie, that's a hard belief to try to pass off in 2018. Because there's an equal balance of good and bad rich people and good and bad poor people. So, I don't know if that one works anymore. The Schmidt pain scale was determined by Schmidt himself, putting a hand in a container holding the animal he was testing and having it bite him. That's freaking metal, bro. That's all I gotta say about that. A group of hummingbirds is called a charm. A group of doves is called a duel. It has multiple names, but I liked duel. Is it duel or dull? I don't know. A group of parrots is called a pandemonium, and a group of ravens is called a conspiracy. No, seriously, look it up. So, if a group of ravens tried to merge into a group of crows, would that be a conspiracy to commit murder? Scientists have studied that self-driving cars would be used for getting hot and heavy. Are you all surprised by that? Even the scientists said it's really not that much of a stretch. There would be so many steamy cars on the highway. Dear God. Napoleon was able to convince multiple armies that they should not shoot him. Napoleon was the one character that poured all of his points into charisma, and it worked. The existence of non-binary slash gender ambiguous individuals can be traced back to the era of Gilgamesh and the Sumerian period of history. Most notably, the goddess Ishtar granted all intersex and androgyne people the gifts of healing and prophecy as a reward for one androgyne individual saving her from the underworld. Be proud, my non-binary peeps. Y'all have been a part of history for a very long time. One time, the citizens of London caused a blackout over the entire energy grid because too many of them turned on their electric kettles at the same time. A.K.A. tea time. Oh, that's adorable. Then again, I'm sure American towns have caused blackouts over too many people using their cure eggs. There is a shrimp known as the Pistol Shrimp, which can shoot out bubbles which explodes at temperatures over 4,700 degrees Celsius. For perspective, the surface of the sun is 5,500 degrees Celsius. I mean, there's a lot more that goes into it, but yeah, technically. OK is an abbreviation for all correct. All correct is a relic of writers in early 19th century New England of intentionally misspelling words. OK lasted this long because it was a useful phrase. And yes, it means all correct. OK. Paper wasps, despite their name, are actually pretty docile for a species of wasp and will only attack if they feel their nest is threatened. However, while they may be docile, their stings are incredibly painful and can cause a potentially fatal anaphylactic response in some individuals. And just a reminder, they're not like bees. Their sting doesn't kill them. They can sting you for as long as they want. So for the love of all that is holy, do not frick frackle with wasps. And the last fun fact of the day, 
Switzerland accidentally invaded Liechtenstein in 2007, when 170 soldiers got lost in the rain. The Liechtenstein government accepted the Swiss apology, saying that it has happened before and nobody really realized it. For those of you that don't know, Liechtenstein is a very small country. Like, you can literally walk across the entire country within nine hours. Walk. Not drive. Walk. Nine hours. You can make a day out of crossing a country. It's also a really cute country. I highly recommend it if you're backpacking across Europe or whatever those hip kids do these days. And those are your fun facts for the day. Thank you, Discord. You're all lovely. Bye! Yeah, I know. Nobody likes going in to learn things on Saturday, which is why we're going to learn fun facts with Discord instead. Yeah! Norman Jackson was a flight engineer and a member of a bombing crew from the 106 Squadron RAF. On the way back home from the final mission, the bomber was attacked by a German night fighter and the engine caught fire. Norman, wanting to keep his crew safe, opened a parachute in the plane and told his friends to hang on to it. He then put on the parachute, grabbed a fire extinguisher, and proceeded to climb outside the 200 mile per hour moving plane to put the fire out. While he was fighting the fire, the fighter came back. It fired and shot Norman twice in the leg. Not only did this injure him, but it slackened the ropes of the parachute, convincing Norman's crew he had fallen to his death and caused them to let go. Only then did Norman fall. On the way down, his parachute caught fire, causing him to fall faster. Despite falling 20,000 feet with a burning chute, Norman survived with a broken ankle and crawled to a village where he was finally hospitalized. That is a superhero. Ethyl formate, which gives raspberries their flavor, has now been found in deep space. Well, those are some fun jokes to make now for sci-fi series. Does anybody else taste raspberries? Oh, that's just the deep vacuum of space. Okay. Bananas have a radioactive decay of about 1 potassium 40 core per second. Yay? A guy sued Red Bull for false advertising since he didn't get his wings. And he won. He won. So now Red Bull actually has to stretch out the terms to WINGS! And it's amusing, because the first time I saw them brought it back, the announcer made it sound a little sassy, like, Hey, screw you, we're still using this, because Red Bull gives you wings. Despite the fact that Blackbeard was a feared pirate, there is no account of him ever harming or murdering those he held captive. He instead preferred to intimidate his opponents, where he would stick lit fuses into his beard, and weave them into his hair to scare the crap out of people. This proved to be very effective. And an additional fact, according to some records, Blackbeard himself hadn't killed a single man before his last battle with Lieutenant Robert Maynard. You know, it's funny, I didn't know that until surprisingly playing Black Flag. Because I was wondering, like, why the frick does Blackbeard have fuses in his beard? In Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame, oh boy, here we go, Frollo demonstrates all of the seven sins, despite himself being a religious man. Yeah, no kidding. In addition, it is evident that God sent a messenger in the middle of his song, breaking the red scenery with a cool blue. Frollo sends the messenger away, and the room becomes red again, therein condemning himself to hell directly. And that is what we call Disney polish. It's right up there with the Hercules joke with Philate saying two words, I am retired, because in Greek, I am retired is two words. And the last fun fact for the day, because it's a long one. <clears throat> there is a species of sea slug called Glaucus Atlanticus. Or Glaucus Atlanticus? Yeah, whatever. Also known as the blue dragon slug. It grows about three inches long and floats along the surface of the ocean. You want to know what it does? It decides to be the most metal of all sea creatures, and feast upon the flesh of the man o war jellyfish, one of the most feared creatures in the sea. Technically not a jellyfish, but I'm not opening that can of worms tonight. <laughs> I get it. A creature six times the length of the blue dragon, plus tentacles that can be up to 30 feet long. A creature so formidable that only five species in the whole world dare to hunt it, one of which is also prey to the blue dragon. And the one tiny little slug just eats the whole jellyfish in one go. All of it. Including, you know, the painful stinging tentacles of deathly, deathful death. However, the stingers don't bother the slug. They pass unactivated through the creature's digestive tract, where it somehow stores them inside its body and sorts out the most potent ones, discarding any stinger that don't satisfy it. 
These stingers are then transported through the slug's blood and distributed into the tips of its strange hand-shaped fins, where it uses them for himself. And due to the fact it specifically chooses the most powerful stingers and packs them into a much smaller area, its stings are actually worse than those from a man of war. That is truly the most metal of all sea creatures. Bullet shrimp, watch your back. And this has been Fun Facts with Discord. Thank you all for your lovely contributions, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Are you ready to learn things? Yeah, me neither. Well, we're gonna. Fun facts with Discord. Here we go. In the horror movie A Quiet Place, the clicking noises of the monsters were made by using a taser on grapes. They used a taser on a grape. The 2005 movie Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is the only version where the kids, minus Charlie, had their personalities tweaked up to be more blatant examples of what they represent. Other changes include Violet having a mom and Mike TV having a dad. And it's weird that the movie that follows the book more has more negative reviews than the movie that didn't follow the book that much. Think about that one. The only known case of chromosome 6 deletion, where a person does not feel pain, hunger, or the need to sleep, is a 7-year-old girl named Olivia Farnsworth. In 2016, she was hit by a car and dragged 30 meters, yet felt nothing and emerged with minor injuries. Ladies, gents, and nuns, we have our first superhuman. Before the Back to the Future trilogy was released by Universal Pictures, the DeLorean was actually a flop car that sold very poorly, and almost caused the company, the DeLorean Motor Company, DMC, to go bankrupt. Plus, they only made one model, the DMC-12. Look at that thing. It's so goofy and I love it. Water is the most recycled resource we have, even before the very concept of recycling was invented. There is a secret hidden inside of Google Maps Street View called Street with a View that has all sorts of fun images for the public to view, including, but not limited to, a heroic rescue, a marching band, and a 17th century samurai battle. The most popular image of the Venezuelan poodle moth is actually a picture of the domesticated silk moth. Look at him! He looks like a little Pokemon. I want to catch it. Bob Ross was so devoted to his fans, he used to receive 200 fan letters a day, and when people who regularly wrote him fell out of touch, he called them just to make sure they were okay. We all deserve a friend like Bob Ross. Guild Wars 2 is currently the only video game to use a specifically designed dynamic level adjustment system used to keep players who are at a higher level than the area they are in. The system keeps players in PvE and WVW from being too overpowered in comparison to other players, and it doesn't impact the rewards or XP gain, so you increase just as you would if you were in an area where you were the appropriate level. See, I like that as a nice feature, but I just could never get into Guild Wars 2 because it was just so slow on my computer! A 1902 political cartoon in the Washington Post spawned the Teddy Bear name. The name Teddy Bear comes from former United States President Theodore Roosevelt, who is commonly known as Teddy, though he loathed being referred to as such. Imagine having a nickname that you hated so much but it ended up becoming an iconic thing in the future. My ghost would haunt everything. The inventor of the saxophone, Adolf Sax, was called Sax the Little Ghost. Why? Well, he survived falling from a height of three floors and could barely stand afterwards. At the age of three, he drank a bowl full of vitralized water and then later proceeded to swallow a pin, burnt himself seriously in a gunpowder explosion, fell onto a hot cast frying pan burning his side, survived poisoning and suffocation in his own bedroom where varnished items were kept during the night, was hit on the head with a brick slash cobblestone, and fell into a river and barely survived. Despite the fact even his parents thought he wouldn't live, he proceeded to live to the ripe old age of 79, dying in 1894. So if you think you're unlucky or badass, I think sex speaks out. That, or someone really didn't want the saxophone to be invented. The makers of Cards Against Huge Manatees bought a plot of vacant land at the U.S.-Mexico border in an attempt to hinder the construction of the border wall. And poor little Donald Trump, he cried into his tiny little hands, 
There's a Japanese dish called the dancing squid, where the sodium and soy sauce makes the nerves and muscles react like it's still moving. That is a big old bowl of nope, no, no, mm -mm, no, 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 sir. The great whiskey fire of Dublin that killed 13 people in 1875. None perished as a result of smokes or burns, but all victims died of alcohol poisoning by drinking whiskey flowing through the streets. Now, I don't want to say it was just the alcohol poisoning alone. I think common knowledge, if you are drinking something right off the dirty old streets of 1875, you might die of something else. And the final fun fact for the day. Samuel L. Jackson has a stutter. He struggled with it throughout his youth until he learned to pretend to be other people who don't stutter. Eventually, he realized that he's never had trouble with his favorite word. You know the one. So he says it to himself every day, even if it's only under his breath and it helps him improve his speech. That is a beautiful way of taking Samuel L. Jackson jokes and realizing he does that every day. Still doesn't excuse how much of a dickus he was in Django. Well, those were your fun facts for the day. I hope you all learned something. I sure did. Bye.